Hey everyone, welcome to the first step in your unforgettable new Skidoo adventure. You're about to experience that Skidoo feeling in an entirely new way aboard an electric snowmobile. But before you do, we just need a few minutes of your time to go over some important safety items with you. Don't worry, it won't take long and you'll be rewarded with an amazing ride. Please pay close attention as we carefully review some important info. It'll only take a few minutes to help ensure your days on the snow are nothing short of epic. Let's get to know the Skidoo electric snowmobile you'll be riding. Sitting behind the handlebars is the perfect place to start. Here you can easily see and review all the safety labels and get familiar with the throttle and brake lever positioning. You'll always need full control over both. With the safety tether disconnected, move the handlebars side to side, squeeze the throttle and brake lever. They must fully return when released. You should also practice how to engage and disengage the parking brake. BRP recommends a minimum operator age of 16 years old. Drivers must be able to place their feet firmly on the running boards while reaching the handlebars. Regardless of age, no one should operate a snowmobile if they aren't responsible or skilled enough to drive properly. Every snowmobile operator should receive proper training before they ride. Avoid anything that could impair your driving ability, such as drugs, alcohol, and fatigue. Drinking and driving never mix, just don't do it. Now it's time to get started. Engage the parking brake and connect the tether cord to you and the vehicle. Press the start button briefly to wake up the system. Pull the emergency stop switch up. Press the start button again to enable the driving mode. Remember, this is an electric snowmobile. There's no engine noise when the sled is stationary. The word ready will appear along with the letter D on the gauge indicating the sled is ready to drive. Before releasing the parking brake, make sure the path ahead is clear of obstacles. Release the parking brake and gently squeeze the throttle and you're off. Snowmobiles handle much differently than other vehicles, but with a little practice, you'll be comfortable in no time. The key is to start slow and never ride beyond your abilities or beyond what the snow conditions allow. Avoid maneuvers that cause unnecessary risk to you, passengers, and bystanders. Reduce speed to navigate turns slowly and shift your weight to lean into the turn. The best way to do this is by moving slightly forward and sliding to the side of the seat that's on the inside of the turn. Once you've exited the turn, you're free to accelerate if the path is clear in front of you. When it's time to slow down or stop the snowmobile, release the throttle first and squeeze the brake lever if you need more deceleration. You may find that when you release the throttle, the snowmobile slows down more quickly than expected. This is unique to the electric snowmobile as the motor acts like a brake and transfers some energy from the sled's motion back into charging the battery. During hard braking, the track may lock. If this happens, pump the brakes by briefly releasing the brake lever and reapplying the brakes. Always slow down before turning and keep both hands on the handlebars and both feet on the running boards. Reversing your Skidoo snowmobile is easy. With your snowmobile at a complete stop, Check that the path behind you is clear of any obstacles. To shift the sled into reverse, press the start button for about one and a half seconds. You'll hear a beeping sound coming from the sled alerting you that it is now in reverse. It's always recommended to sit while operating in reverse. Your weight could shift forward against the throttle lever, causing unexpected acceleration. Pressing the start button again will shift the snowmobile back into forward. Your Skidoo snowmobile adventure will be spent enjoying mostly maintained snowmobile trails. During your excursion, always stay to the right of the trail in case we meet oncoming traffic. Ride in a single file line. No passing or racing along the trail. Signs along the trail will help guide your ride. Obey all signage and be prepared for the unexpected. Your snowmobile is not equipped to turn or drive for extended time on paved surfaces. However, road crossings are part of almost any trail ride. Here's how to properly cross a road. Approach road crossings slowly and stop safely back from the road's edge. Check for traffic. Snowmobiles do not have the right of way when crossing roads. When all cross traffic is cleared, proceed one at a time across the road. Each sled must come to a complete stop before crossing the road. 
Riding with friends is a great way to take the experience to the next level. Be aware that carrying a passenger can change the way your snowmobile handles. Here are a few key tips to make sure both driver and passenger enjoy the ride to the fullest. Passengers must be able to sit upright with feet firmly placed on the running boards and hands comfortably on the passenger handholds or seat strap. Passengers should lean into turns with the driver. Take corners slowly and check in with your passenger frequently so they are aware of what's ahead. If you're stopping for a few minutes at a pit stop for a snack or to take a few photos, disconnect the desk key from the snowmobile. This will help preserve battery life. If there's a charging station nearby, plug the sled in to extend your adventure. Thanks for watching this important safety information video. Have a great time on your ride and enjoy the snow.